Good morning, folks. Filaments are erupting. Solar flares are modest, but with the potential for more. We've got climate, catastrophism, and cosmology today, and we are beginning the day with relatively calm solar wind, but the departing dark coronal hole should be enhancing that tonight or tomorrow. The bright active region on the north is still the top eruptive concern on our star. This morning, it released yet another M-class flare. Luckily, it was once again impulsive rather than long duration, so no coronal mass ejection. While there are indeed several active regions that could develop into flare makers, the north is obviously the big one, and it's magnetically complex, presenting several delta-class interaction zones and likely giving us more as it turns across the second half of Earth-facing heliographic longitudes eyes on it. Folks, perhaps you heard about the winter reload coming. Latest winter storm ever named. Many areas are virtually guaranteed to shatter record cold and record snow marks for this time of year. And of course, here in Colorado, we get to sample the worst of it before distributing that weather change eastward through the states. Let's go to cosmology, where the more certain Hubble becomes as to how its eyes see cosmic expansion, the more certain they and everyone else is that the discrepancy is not going to be solved by data error. There is truly new physics at work that they don't see one bit, and observers couldn't agree more. Little Easter egg for those up to date on modern catastrophism and what's expected from our star. Once again, they found unique isotope chemistry and were able to quickly conclude that it was NOVA produced. But after looking and looking and not finding any good candidates in the usual realm, they just say that the iron chemistry they're seeing must have been produced by a supernova long ago. Folks, this runs into the same problems as all of their other recent nearby NOVA explanations, and speculation is okay when you don't have a better answer sitting right in front of you. It's the sun, it's the sun, it's the sun. By the way, while the pretty red view is ionized helium, the rest of the AIA ultraviolet views are picking up various ionization levels of iron. Yes, that's all iron in these here at various energetic states. Last but not least, super oops for climate change. Folks, every scary aspect of their biosphere claims begin with the micro aspects of the food chain. The plankton were supposed to succumb to even a tiny bit of warming, and that would cascade across the entire animal kingdom. Uh, no. Turns out they messed up the nanofossil analysis before and... They do just fine in a warmer world with more of their food around. Yes, folks, CO2 is plant and microbe food, not dangerous pollution. Folks, I'm trying to take Sunday off for my daughter's human calendar birthday. I'll remind you again tomorrow. And for anyone new here, look right below the video and find the playlists on climate and catastrophe before you ask your questions publicly in the comments. Veterans have their paddles out for the freshmen today, as do I. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.